If you wonder what kind of trees I'm cutting down, it's hazel, holly and stupid tree. Right, how do we get in there, Philip? Because, you know, it looks really exciting. If these are my last moments, at least you know I died as a hero. Oh, small mistake with huge consequences. Something like this. I don't, I don't think so. He came here once a week to cut the grass, but other than that, he was just relaxing. Oh, where's Nato when I need him? Wheat, not weed. Wheat. <laughs> Wheat. Why, what's the difference? My name is Anna. I'm an English former fashion and textile designer. I moved to Paris, age 23, to work for the French couture house Bauman and stayed for the croissants, the wine, and of course for Philip, a filmmaker from the South Tyrolean Alps. After 10 amazing years, getting married, buying and renovating two homes and having two babies, we decided city life was no longer for us. Philip had been dreaming of buying a chateau since the day we met and finally convinced me to start looking. We came to visit Chateau gonville saint fleur Despite being in quite poor condition and needing a complete renovation, we immediately fell in love. In May 2019, we got the keys to the chateau, our new home. With a tight budget, we had no choice but to do most of the renovations by ourselves. We're learning new skills as we go, building muscles we never knew we had, and getting creative to make the chateau as personal as possible whilst preserving its historic features. It's all part of this crazy family adventure and we wouldn't change it for anything. Where are we going? We are going to the hospital. Yes, don't worry, it's all good. We're getting our second vaccine, which I'm very happy about. Yes, me too. <laughs> but they say there are side effects when you get the second one, so yeah. maybe we're a bit groggy tonight. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. I've still got painting to do, so they're gonna have to do it in my left arm, so I can still, I can still paint. It's funny because it has a similar architecture to our chateau, no, Philip? But it's a little bit more spooky. It's a spooky version of our chateau. A spooky yeah. hospital version. Orphanage horror film. Done. Done? Yeah. I'm done, yeah. That was quick. It was so quick. It took us like two minutes from the time we arrived. I can tell you look already different. Uh, so. Now I can take the mask off forever. Fully vaccinated, I'm really happy. Yes, me too. Even though I have a strange urge now to buy a Microsoft product. What are you talking about? Hey, Anna. Hey. I see you're continuing painting the hallway. Yes. Good with job. With one arm, with my good arm. Because this one's a bit dead after the vaccine. Really? I don't feel anything. No? No. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably just a stronger organism. Um, Anna, I want you to present you yes. with the light options for the hallway. Ah, Yeah. okay. Look, up here mm -hmm. we have two ugly light bulbs yeah. with the most ugly light. And since the beginning of the renovation, whenever I try to film, it gives me this weird reddish color and I just never bother to change them. No. But now it's the time to change them. I give you several options. My favorite option is to buy two lights from Flo's and they're very beautiful. Okay. They're about 400 euros each. And option B? Um, option B, it's a modern light. You never know, something like this. I don't, I don't think so. Don't no. you wanna see? Mm, no, I think it's, um, it's too minimal. Also, it looks like a roll of toilet paper when you hold it like <laughs> That's this. That's true. <laughs> so not the toilet paper light for this hallway. Option C is a light that we bought and didn't like. Mm -hmm. This one. Yeah, that's annoying because uh, I don't like the finish of the metal here. Yeah, it said it said gold or little, mm. like copper, but it didn't. It's not copper. It's some weird painted Chinese aluminium. It looks a bit cheap. It does. Anyway, so yeah. I think okay, this is not this one either. Not this one either. Okay, and what's have we got an option D? Yes. What's option D? Option D are lights that were actually here in this hallway when we came. I think it's actually really cool. Now you think it's cool and a couple of months ago you didn't like it. 
Yeah. Obviously, this is some original, probably 1920s or 30s Art Deco yeah, style. Yeah, exactly. And I think it could actually look really modern. Do you mind climbing up the stairs? Yeah. And very carefully. Trying it. <laughs> Trying it. So obviously, it will be like this. Well, the only downside, it doesn't look really glamorous. It looks a bit like a utility room light. No, I think it's quite glamorous with the sort of Art Deco design. Yeah? Yeah. Well, yeah. the other option is to buy the floor slides that I really like mm -hmm. and to feed the children nothing but potatoes for a month. That's, that's my preferred option. I do love the floor slide that you showed me. I mean, it's beautiful, but I just think that maybe spending 400 euros or 800 euros on lights for a hallway is probably a little excessive at the moment. Sorry for being the voice of reason. I'm boring. But do you have the other one of these? No, I only have one, but I think there is another one of these in the hallway down there. That would be handy. Should we go and have a look? Let's have a look. Up here. Yep, it's still there. So that's handy. Perfect. So we have our second one. It's handy, but do you see it has been painted oh. blue? Oh. Do you that's think we shame. can get the paint off? Yeah. Uh, With a paint remover. I hope so, without removing the enamel paint underneath. We'll have to just try. I think that's a good job for you, Philip. The paint removal job? Yeah. Okay. That sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you sure this is the right light for the hallway? Yeah, I like them. You're not convinced, are you? I really like the floor slides. I know, but... I'm really happy today to introduce you to yet another one of our beautiful outbuildings. And today it's going to be this barn, this big and giant old barn that stood here for many centuries. Unfortunately, you can't see much because it's completely overgrown. Actually, I think you can't see anything at all. But this would change today because I decided to do some work in the garden, clean all the bushes and trees and branches and weeds that grow there. And then if my cleaning mission is successful, we might be able to walk inside and have a look around and see what we find. opened up already a little bit. Can you see? And if you wonder what kind of trees I'm cutting down, it's hazel, holly and stupid tree. Now, some people call stupid trees lovingly sycamore, but I think trees as stupid as these don't deserve a scientific name. So the most threatening trees and branches are gone and you can see the shape of the building and the size of the building and you can see that it's really really big. There's a massive mess on the floor now and I'm going to stop here because I need to get in my favorite machine, the red shredder. You should be familiar with the setup by now. This is the shredder in red, Ferrari red. And this is the trailer in British Race Green. I think it's called British Race Green. Oh, the side walls. Not super exciting. However, there's always a moment when we don't know if it will start or not. And I hope you enjoy this moment as much as I do. Ah, 
I'm really annoyed about myself. In my excitement, I forgot to open this little hatch here. Now all the mulch got stuck in here. Here. I don't even know why they have this. It's very annoying. It's like driving a car with a handbrake on. Oh. Now all the mulcheria is in here. Oh, small mistake with huge consequences. Reminds me when I proposed to Anna. All the mess is on this side as well. Ah. I'm an idiot. That's the moment where you can write a comment and say, Philip, that's not true. Everybody makes mistakes. We're really impressed how you always find a solution for your problems. Now the machine is sorted, but I can't find the screws. I knew at the very moment when I opened these screws and they fell down, I told myself, pick them up, otherwise you're not going to find them. But I didn't do it. Oh. Ah, here they are. One, one of these still missing. This is good, you see. The moment they fell down, I heard Anna's voice saying, pick them up, otherwise you're never, never gonna find them again. And I said, ah, oh, come on, Anna. But, but the little Anna in my head was right. All right, done. Where's Nato when I need him? cow rescue mission. Look what happens. One of Jerome's cows, and it's a male, as you can tell, just escaped. And I tried to move it back to the field, but it's a bit stubborn. So I called Jerome, the farmer, and hopefully he comes soon because we have a house full of guests and we need to make breakfast, but I'm a bit worried because the cows come quite fast here. So I also don't know how dangerous it is to move this cow back to the fields. Actually, I tried, but it just doesn't move. Look, I can try again. If these are my last moments, at least you know I died as a hero, an animal rescue hero. Come on. Come on. Come, 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 come. Come. Doesn't want to do what I want. Ay, 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 ay. I could Google it, how to move a bull. His family, his mom, probably. His brother. Yeah, now I'm stuck with a cow. That's not how I wanted to start my day. Come, 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 come. Oh, don't be such a bully, bull. Now, do what I say or you will end up as a carpet in my editing room. I feel a bit like a helpless city idiot. But it's not my cows after all.
that just now feared. We are Thursday, and I was kind of hoping that I would be finished with the hallway by now, but I'm not. Monday, we kind of gave ourselves a day off. Tuesday, we got our second vaccines, which is amazing, except Philip has kind of come down with flu symptoms, is feeling like rubbish. Then Wednesdays, the girls are not at school, so I was basically on childcare duty all day. So I didn't get anything done yesterday and it's now Thursday and we have guests arriving here at four o'clock today. So I want to try to finish doing the top coat on the woodwork. I've got my work cut out, but I'm hoping I can get it done and I'm hoping I can open a lot of windows so it doesn't smell of paint when they arrive. Nato had an amazing month of holidays. He came here once a week to cut the grass, but other than that, he was just relaxing. But now, this will change, because tomorrow, he starts his apprenticeship in a restaurant. À partir de demain, Nathan, le plus important pour toi, ça sera de... D'être ponctuel. Être ponctuel. Être motivé. Être motivé. Et être souriant. Être souriant. Bref, Nathan. Il va falloir que je sois excellent, mm. agir sans faute, tout comme mon ancien patron. C'est à dire toi. Merci Nathan, c'était très spontané. Merci. De rien. Euh, money please. Ah, ok. Quatre. Merci. 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 It's a mess. Well, it is a mess, but it's less of a mess than it was before. You appreciate my hard work. I do. We can actually see the building, which is really beautiful. This is obviously not finished, but I just realized either we have a video, just me cleaning the outside of the barn. Or we have the guided tour. So I decided to do it next week. Philip, what are you doing? I have this new amazing white angle lens and I'm gonna make the most beautiful pictures in the future. And one day, maybe, I will be called the Terence Malick of waste pipe tutorials. This is certainly the biggest outbuilding that we have on the property and I know it looks like it's falling down but it is actually in quite good repair. It's luckily had a roof that's been replaced fairly recently and that's protecting all the beams. When we bought the chateau this building was completely overgrown and quite neglected and even us we didn't come here very often. However, from an architectural point of view and from a historical point of view, this might be the most interesting building of the whole property. Part of it is stone walls and the other part is a traditional Norman uh, wooden frame house. And the way this wooden frame is built with this beam, which I think is called traverse in French, with this beam on top of these vertical beams means that it dates back at least to the 16th, if not the 15th century. Because after that, they stopped building the frames in this way. And now my hands are full of spider webs. We haven't spent much time in here, but the one time when we did come, we found something which was very important. It was the two original back doors of the chateau. We discovered that the back doors had been removed and it had been cemented up to make a downstairs toilet and shower. So we were really, really excited when we discovered that they were still here in this outbuilding. Anna, this outbuilding is so huge. I think it has a similar footprint to our chateau. It feels like it. It's massive, isn't it? It is. Are you worried about the structure, Anna? I think the beams are looking pretty healthy, actually. No? 
I think so too. That is like a bit wonky. There's not much supporting that beam, is it, and that wall? You know, maybe these metal gates here, <laughs> this chicken wire. But this is just a separating wall. And have you seen how they are made? They are made. I mean, this is so old. And look at the look at the wood is half eaten, but it's still still quite hard. So it's a really quality wood, some hard wood. And, and then you have these this clay filling. I can't wait to come here with a architect historian because I think there's a lot of interesting things to find out about this building. Yeah. Oh, that's good. And there's a ladder. Not sure if that's a good idea. Look, Philip, this looks like an original fireplace here. Well, I had the same discussion with Benoit. I'm pretty sure it's not a fireplace. You know what it is? What? I think it's the entrance to a cellar. We have exactly the same structure in our cellar, not just a little smaller. I've actually never been on the other side of that, Philip. You know what? Me neither. Have you not? No. Because there's another part of, this is probably the original structure, and then there was an add-on at some point. The new roof was built to cover a bigger area than the house itself. So if ever we were to renovate, the roof would be a bit smaller. And Philip, look, this is some old machinery. Look, what do you think that was? I don't know, a mixer? Oh, it's really heavy. I think that's a nice restoration project. Look, because I think... Oh. It comes out, it still works, that's exciting. That's amazing. I don't know what that is, but it's pretty cool. Look. This is where we found the two doors, wasn't it? Look, there's some panelling. Always useful if we, oh, yeah. if we need some. We definitely might use that in the renovation of the chateau. Come and have a look. I've seen that before. I'm sure our viewers will be able to tell us what it is. Look, there's a table, a top of a table. It's like an art deco table. Yeah. And I think it's in good condition. There's some table legs, and I think this is the table legs for this table. Do you think so? I'm pretty sure. It's definitely the same period. It's like an art deco table. It's really beautiful, isn't it? It's super beautiful. I think we need to restore this, Anna. Definitely. And there's a house for a dog. So we must get a dog then? We must get a dog. Here we found the back doors. And there's still some nice details. Look like some mouldings. That's really good. We don't need Benoit anymore. Nice mouldings. They're in good condition. This is an old wine rack. A bit rusty. That's a cupboard. This is quite a machine. I'm pretty sure this is to, to separate the grains from the stems. I don't know how you call that in English. Are you wearing your best jeans again, Philip? Yes. <laughs> Why? And you know what I'm standing on? No, what? An evagel. Philip, that is not helping. I do not know what you're talking about. <sighs> All this a catapult. Just... A catapult. A catapult. We're not in the Middle Ages. No, not a catapult. If you want to know how heavy you are, what do you use? Um, some scales. That's the name, that's the word. But I don't think it's made for humans, it's probably for apples. <laughs> this produces like a draft and then it sends out the grass and it keeps the grains in here. The spreu from Weizen trennen. You separate the spreu from the Weizen. Ah, I don't know, Philip, I'm not a farmer. And Anna, what do we do with this building? That's a good question. I mean, I would say an atelier for me, but it's almost too big. A swimming pool? Yeah, why not? <laughs> a swimming pool, I like the idea. Who's gonna pay for that? <sighs> Dear patrons, forget about helping us restoring the chateau. Who cares about old crumbling walls anyway? From now on, we will focus all our energy in creating a luxury indoor pool and a spa. And there's still some space there for an Aston Martin or a Lamborghini. Your choice. We count on your support. Thank you. Do you think that was good? Will we have a lot of new patrons this week? Yeah, sounds good. Hey, let's go and explore the part that I've never been in. Yes. This bath, by the way, wasn't here. I found it online and I bought it. This is a bit kitsch. <laughs> it's a bit a cheesy version of a cast iron bath, but it could be funny maybe in an outbuilding. Maybe if we did get rid of the gold, maybe. Yeah. Anyway. That's the problem when you see something online and it was actually at a really old lady's place and she needed to move out and she almost gave it away just for somebody to move it out of her place. And then I went there and I didn't want it, but I felt like sorry for her and I didn't want to leave it there because I knew that she needed to have it out of her home. So with the help of Benoit, 
we brought it here, and who knows if we're ever going to use it. But we made an old lady very happy. Oh, you're very sweet. I am, thank you. And there's an old sign here. What does it say, Anna? Fermez la porte, s'il vous plaît. Only there is no port. Look, this is for sharpening. Is this for sharpening uh, blades? It is, for sharpening knives and knives. tools. This is a really nice object. And somebody came and told me it's really rare to find some stones in such a good condition. You know, I think that would be a really, really nice restoration project. I was looking for some paintbrushes. Bits of metal. I don't know what that is. And look at this workbench, Philip. This is amazing. This is really nice. Oh, and there's, a, there's some kind of saw. Yeah. And here the wall. Look at this wall. And again, you can tell, most likely they used stones from the old fortress, from the Norman fortress that used to be here. And these stones were lying around. And when they rebuilt outbuildings, they just used them. It's also some, somebody's done some maths. Some oh, yes? Sums. Oh, that wasn't me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you see that? Yes. Oh, you know what these are? What? These are for the beams, ah. to hold the beams together. So this was probably the carpenter's workshop here. The chateau carpenter. What's that, Anna? Yeah, I have no idea. Another piece of machinery. If I look, there's like a ball. What is that? Who knows what it is? Please leave a comment. Right, how do we get in there, Philip? Because, you know, it looks really exciting. Look. Oh, we need to go outside. But look, yeah. there's something, uh, something in there. Okay, let's go. It's really hard. Oh, you go in here. Look, 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 look. Here's a hole. <laughs> Maybe it's easier. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, but then somebody might see me going in and think I'm breaking in. Yes, you kind of are breaking in. Okay. You want to give me the camera? Oh. <laughs> so something really funny happened. Just when we were about to break in into our own outbuilding, the neighbors came and our neighbors are the former owners of the chateau and its grounds. And so we asked them what they know about this outbuilding and they said it was during their lifetime, it was a wheat store. Wheat, not weed. Wheat. <laughs> wheat. Why, what's the difference? Wheat and not weed. Oh, I heard okay. weed. Okay, weed. This is what people smoke. Yeah. And wheat is what people eat. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know my neighbors. <laughs> they, don't look, they don't look like they had a weed store. <laughs> okay, sorry. It's a wheat store, not a weed store. So I was totally right in my assumption that these machines are to separate wheat from the straw. Yes, I give in. You were right. And they showed us an old amazing photograph from the 20s or 30s. It shows a group of people who were there working. And standing in the middle, it's the former owner of this chateau two generations back. And you see this building, but at that time it still had a thatched roof. It's amazing. I love that picture. Some old fuse boxes. Broken sinks. All these walls, they could move them. They were sliding. They were sliding. Well, they're still sliding, but maybe it's a bit rusty now. So they would slide them away and then they would be able to load and unload the lorries with the wheat. Oh. What have you found? Paper. Paperwork. I think we have seen what there was to see in this outbuilding, but there's many more outbuildings here and we will explore them one after the other, promise. And if you don't want to miss any of these explorations, then please hit this subscribe button here or here and then click please also on the bell because then you get a notification that there's a new video out and so you are sure you don't miss any of our beautiful vlogs. Have a good day. this episode don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates have a look at our patreon page thank you so much for watching